Three seconds, two. DJ for the win. Got it! Yes. Yes. Oh! At the end. Yes. It was a three-pointer in Mexico City. This one goes through the net at triple zero. Wow. Oh, man. Beautiful. Beautiful. What a win for the Hawks. Let's get out of Tabitha. Are we prepared for winning time? Hopefully days before the contest, at worst, pregame, and halftime, we should be prepared for winning time. We have a tie ball game. Any point scored potentially will win the contest. Both teams have one timeout. And both teams are in the bonus situation with regards to fouls. We're shooting free throws on any common foul. Who has the shot? This is borderline between trails and leads primary coverage area. We're probably going to yield to trail for this. There is a closeout and contesting defender. So it's imperative that we stay connected to the shooter. Trail shooter, lead can assist. Who has the game clock? Center has no activity in his primary curves area. So center will be well advised to have the game clock in this scenario. But let's remember, the entire court in winning time is everyone's primary. The shot clearly gets off prior to the expiration of time. So we know because the ball has gone through the ring and through the net as time expires, we know there is no remaining time in the contest and that our visiting team will be able to use their remaining time out to draw up a play for a game-winning potential shot of their own. This winning time situation was well handled by our entire officiating group. 